Hello, welcome back to another video. Sorry about this, I've been very, very busy over the past few months. Um, but this is a cool VMware tutorial, not VMware, just a cool tutorial to break into your PC if you have about half an hour. So here I'm shutting down the virtual machine and then launching up Startup Repair by clicking Control or Delete. This will bring up Startup Repair. Um, this is a great exploit because it, it, and it um, enables you to get command prompt on any computer. And so you'll be brought to this screen and then with this screen uh, you'll have to wait until you get a certain pop-up like this and you can click view problem details and then this sends you to a text file in here which then leads you into the computer yep so um, it's the one on the bottom and then this one you go to file save as and then you can go to all files so you can see all files Go to computer, locate to the um, to the system files, and then you can go to um, you go to CMD. Uh, sorry, this is a bit, if this is fast. You can pause the video there. So you go to Utilman, and you rename Utilman to um, to Utilman One, so it's not recognised by the computer. So Utilman is the little, little button on the startup screen um, that brings up the uh, like impairment settings. So um, like text to speech and narration and stuff. So then you go to CMD in the system32 files. You could do this because you've got system privileges over the computer because you're not logged in anywhere yet. And so if you navigate your way to CMD in this um, like file system, which it took me quite a while. Um, yeah, it took me quite a while to do this actually. You can then um, rename this to Utilman which is brilliant. So whenever you click on that button it will bring up this command prompt. So you know you just go back out of that and then once you restart your computer you'll see in a minute what happens. I did this and it got me into some bad things but this is a video to show you that it's bad and you shouldn't do it really. Um, so yeah that's, that's the YouTube button and you get this system uh, system user command prompt. So here I was logged into this IE user because I was using like a um, virtual machine and then so I'm using um, a command to get rid of the admin password this user's password uh, you know, I can actually add an admin there so I use an admin password one and then slash add which is pretty cool and here explorer.exe this is what I did and um, this brings up the toolbar and because you've got system privileges over the computer you can then go into that and also get Wi-Fi which I did and didn't turn out very well so I advise you not to do that this is just to show you how vulnerable systems are today I don't believe this presently in Windows 10 so they fixed it but Windows 7 definitely vulnerable so here you can you know go to the desktop and stuff and after playing around with some commands um, I found that you can actually um, you know just uh, so like net user IE user and then with the star you can type in a new password for that user and so I typed in password here, it doesn't show it for security reasons I think it was hacking how to um, the name of the channel uh, yeah and then type it in again um, it's such a brilliant exploit um, it just shows you how vulnerable computer systems are today so type the password to confirm and as you can see command and did it successfully. So the password hint here is password and I was typing in that in. You can see uh, it didn't log in. But when I typed in hacking how to in a second, um, it let me in. So you can change an admin account here. So you can gain access to admin. And as you can see here, you know you have control full access over the computer. And here you um there's another admin account that I created with the command prompt. And I actually forgot the password to it, which was quite embarrassing I think. Yeah. So I forgot what the password was. So I then actually use the same command to get into the admin account that I just created. Embarrassing, but it's a good example to show you what you can do with this and how powerful it is. Um, and from here, you know, you can go into anything, enable admin on your account because you have the password. Um, it's it's such a brilliant exploit. You can do anything you want. I'll include some commands in the description that you could do uh, sort of malicious ones, just to show you. Obviously, uh, this is a massive disclaimer. Um, but yeah, as you can see here, admin account. Um, you can, well, you can, I, I made it admin, but yeah, um, it's such a brilliant exploit. Thanks for watching. Um, 
sorry about lack of uploads I'll be sure to upload more uh, and as you can see here use the pa password that I created and I can just switch to administrator and then now you have your own um, control so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video thanks guys